Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We have got two super easy but delicious crock pot recipes for you guys. The first one is a creamy chicken tortellini. Y'all, this one was super good and I kind of made it up on the fly, but I'll have it linked down below for you guys. So I have got about five boneless skinless chicken thighs there that I have just thawed out and I've got them in the bottom of my crock pot. I am gonna say for this one, I wish I had have used my big jack crock pot because <clears throat> towards the end you'll see how full it was it all worked at the end um, I just wish I had to use that other one just for some more room so I've got my chicken thighs in there and then I'm going to go in with one packet of dry ranch just sprinkle that all over all the chicken thighs and then I'm going to add in one can of a cream of cheddar soup if you don't have cream of cheddar you could sub out for cream of chicken but I loved the cheesiness that it gave from the cream of cheddar then you're just gonna add one block of cream cheese right on top. Don't mix it in, just sit it right on top. As it cooks, it's just gonna heat through and it's just gonna melt whenever it's ready to mix. The great thing about cooking chicken thighs in the slow cooker is that it only takes like three to four hours for them to cook because they're so thin. So it's great to have dinner on the table within a couple hours. So I just place that on high and let it cook for about four hours. Here's what it looks like when it's done. And I'm just taking my meat chopper, shredding up that chicken, and then it's going to kind of mix together and add in that cream cheese. And then here I have a big bag of the tortellini. This was the biggest bag that Kroger had. This is the time where I wish I had have used my bigger crock pot just cause y'all are gonna see how full it is. <laughs> Um, but I just throw that whole bag in there give it a good mix and then you're gonna set it put the lid on it set it for about another hour just to cook the noodles and heat it through um, and I'm telling you all this was so good super easy Winston loved it Luke loved it and this gave us a ton of leftovers So after about an hour, here's what it looks like. I'm just gonna give it one more good mix. And then I'm gonna add in about a cup of cheddar cheese and mix that in as well and put the lid back on until it's time to serve. Here is my plate. Y'all, this was really delicious, something different and new for our family to have, and we'll definitely be making this again. Next up is a Lazy Man Lasagna. Y'all already know I've made this a ton, but I always do this in the oven in a 9 by 13 casserole dish. And this day was super busy for us. And with Luke's new schedule, I thought there's no way that I would get home in time. I have dinner done if I had to put this in the oven. So I thought I'm just gonna make it up like I normally do. Pop it in the slow cooker, let it cook for about four hours. And y'all, it was delicious. Pasta was cooked through. I was so happy with it, and I will definitely be doing it this way again. So here I've just got about a pound and a half of hamburger meat that I've just cooked up, drained the grease, and now I'm adding in two jars of pasta sauce. I like to use the tomato basil garlic from Kroger. So I'm just gonna mix that well, then we'll go over to the slow cooker and assemble the casserole.
So I sprayed my crock pot really good just so the edges and stuff don't stick doing this. You can also use a liner if you like, but I was out so I didn't have one. So I'm just placing some of that sauce mixture down at the bottom so the noodles on the bottom won't burn. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to layer your meat sauce, noodles, cheese, meat sauce, noodles, cheese. Just keep layering it until all of your ingredients are gone. And the top layer I did different because I ended up, um, I did the noodles, the meat, and then, then the cheese. So um, that, that way I topped with cheese. And y'all, like I said, this was super delicious. I just set it for about four hours and it was cooked perfectly. And here it is after about four hours, y'all. This was super delicious. The cheese was nice and melted. Everything was heated through. We will definitely be doing it again this way. It made it super simple, especially on a busy day like I had. So we just served it up and then I had it along with some garlic bread. And that is it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed these two super simple pasta recipes for the slow cooker. These are both now family favorites. We will definitely be making these again. I hope you guys enjoyed this crock pot video, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.